Hello and welcome back to my garage. Today I'm going to be installing a Roadlock XRA 307 disc lock to my motorcycle. Hopefully you enjoy. This is what you get in the kit from Roadlock. The main body of the lock, two replacement bolts, the locking pin, this is a blank, set of keys, and an array of spacers. The first part of the operation is to remove these bolts. I would suggest you do not remove the bolts all the way. Their instructions suggest the same thing. Do not remove the bolts all the way out because you need to know the distance between here and here. So what am I trying to achieve? Firstly, the thread depth of the bolt going into the fork leg. This is how far BMW suggests the bolt, their bolt, goes into the fork leg to hold the caliper on. This is important because you will need brakes after you fit the road lock. It then says I should refer to the road lock instructions. Let's do that. Here are the road lock instructions. Aprilia, Ducati, Honda, Kawasaki, KTM, Yamaha, Suzuki Triumph, Motor Guzzi. Ah, problem there is no BMW. My bike is a BMW, but I had good email conversations with Roadlock and they assure me that the uh, Roadlock system will fit on my bike. At the top here, I've put in the new retaining bolt and the F sized spacer on the outside between the bolt and the Roadlock system itself. The new spacer which is size E, and I need to put the other spacer in here. Ooh, single-handedly. And the new bolt. Okay, let's thread them in. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm going to thread these in quite a lot of the way, but not all of the way. And I'm gonna share you a little top tip with you. Notice this is my top tip. The road lock pin is in place. This just helps hold the road lock in place while I do up the bolts. And also, it helps align the system. So they're just, because there's a little bit of movement in the system. If I leave the pin in place, it allows me to align everything while I'm holding a camera. So when it comes time for you to ride away, put your key into the lock. I'm making it look more awkward than it is. Remove the pin. This is the locking pin. Put in the blank and lock it in place. That will keep rubbish road dirt out of your road lock. Build quality and ease of fitting. Uh, build quality I would say is really really high, I'd go 8 out of 10. Uh, ease of fitting, um, yeah I think the instructions are lacking a little bit but uh, if you look on the road lock website they don't actually list too many BMW motorcycles that um, the road lock system fits. Uh, the GS1250 is one of them, and I know that the caliper on the GS1250 is slightly different to my 1200. Um, ease of fitting, yeah, okay, it's, uh, I don't know, it's up there as well. I'd still say it's about an 8 out of a 10. Um, I didn't find it that difficult, really. Um, I worked it out uh, in the end, and it is fitted. I think it's a. Uh, I think it looks okay. It blends into the bike. Obviously, a lock on it. And while we're on lock on it, there's also a lock on the disc. So I'm going to rotate the wheel. If you've got a motor bike parked normally, obviously this front wheel would be on the ground. 
And if I go to take the motorcycle off of the center stand, it'll probably roll forward by about that much. Now don't quote me on this, but it's a kind of a guesstimation. The bike's gonna roll forward about that much. And then you uh, sort yourself out and you get ready to ride off down the road and you put it in the first gear. And this lock down the bottom here jams. So it'll either break your caliper and it certainly will jam in the bottom of the caliper. And the chances are you'll fall off and look like a complete spanner. Um, to try and get it off the center stand, I tried, and I can't. I can't get it off the center stand, and that's fantastic. I'm going to lock it. It's not locked into the disc, but this is purely for people with just side stands. And a lot of people do just side stands. How far do I need to roll forward for the pin to lock in place? I really think it depends where the disc is in relation to the hole because apparently it's every tenth hole but um, you can be lucky um, we did a test a minute ago and it was a little bit further not a lot further a little bit further so it is possible here you go side stand and center stand so how much did my road lock system cost it was hundred and sixty pounds sterling Minus 10% discount. Roadlock were kind enough to give me a 10% discount. They're also offering you a 10% discount by entering the letters MAD10 in the link below. Roadlock will give you a 10% discount. If you've liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you've disliked this video, give me a thumbs down. Please leave a little comment in the comment section below. Until next time, people, take care and ride safe. Bye-bye.